Hello one and all and welcome to Scene Through Glass. Today at Car Week is Quail, the event that really I've been the most excited about. It is a static car show, which means all the cars are going to be parked up, but I've been led to believe that the cars that are going to be parked up are going to be absolutely insane. So I cannot wait to get inside, but it also means that the event gets attended by some pretty legit people. And one of them is just over here. Dr. M3. Hey, how are you? Good to see Good you, see man. Good to see you, man. Vegas, congratulations on your new car. Thank you very it much. Looks what awesome. do you think? You stalked me in traffic. It looks wicked. It yeah. looks so, so cool. So it's funny. I get, uh, I'm driving along. I didn't even know when I get this. <laughs> and you're like, are you in... Are your car is all stickered up? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> you're yeah. hard to miss. I blend into my EcoBoost, into the crowd. EcoBoost. At least, you know, so look at where we're at. Quail. It's all about eco-friendliness. Yeah, this is what I've been saying. And, and so you came in the EcoBoost Mustang. Well, awesome to see you here. We're going to head inside. We're going to spend the day together, basically. Uh, yes, but yeah, yes, wicked indeed. to see you, man. Wicked right. to see you. So yes, as I say, as well as awesome people like Dr. M3, you also get fairly ridiculous cars in the car park. <laughs> Just a reminder, that was just the car park. We haven't actually been inside yet. So, I think it's time to get my tickets and head on in to the quail and see how much more ridiculous the whole day and the event can become. We still here, you're rocking with the best. Don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks. Who's the boss? Dudes is lost. Don't think because I'm iced out, I'm a cool off. Who else but me? And if you don't feel me, that means you can't touch me. It's ugly, trust me. Get it's fair to say that my life has been ruined because after today, even the birth of my firstborn child will be disappointing compared to the excitement that I'm experiencing right now. This place is unbelievable. I mean, I pooed my pants in the car park with excitement. And now here is the lineup of cars, the quantity and the quality, which is something I've been saying all of Car Week, is mind blowing. Now this thing is just silly. <laughs> Give me a road legal version of this, the Acura, well, in the Europe, Honda, NSX GT3. Oh, love it. I don't even know what they're doing. Are they part of the event? Are they going to park? What are they doing? They're laughing at my phone, like just driving through. They're like, oh, we're lost, sorry. <laughs> Oh crap, I'm missing some kind of BMW parade. Oh god. Sorry BMW fans. I didn't realise it was happening. Oh look, a BMW, yay. Oh, they're coming back. Okay, here we go, here we go. I get all the angles. The 100th anniversary of BMW. That explains why all those 3.0 CSLs were cruising around. Anyway, yeah, yay BMW, we love you. Well, this is awkward. How's the M3? <laughs> God, I still love the Project 7 so much, and I think I would definitely still have one over an SVR. It just looks so insane. What I thought I would do now is, now that I've shown you all the glamour shots, is basically just walk through and talk through some of the mega, mega stuff that is here. This right here is a Maserati MC12 that used to belong to Michael Schumacher, or maybe it was built for Michael Schumacher. I forget the story, but anyway, it's freaking awesome. And look at the chrome wheels. It's like the West Coast Customs version of an MC12. Bling, bling. Now usually, if there was an Enzo parked up, I would be freaking out about it. However, I really don't care because there's a challenge for Charlie, without a stripe. The dream. Would it be awkward if I started humping it? And then parked here, we have the Alfa Romeo Disco Volante Spider, based on the 8C. I mean, a lot of people aren't going to like it, it's probably quite Marmite. How do you improve on an 8C? Well, I think they've managed to do it somehow. It is a rare thing of beauty. I think I might prefer the coupe though. But Spider obviously very cool for its rarity. 
Can you tell me one event you've been to where there have been three LaFerraris parked together and none of them are red? No, no you can't because the quail is the only place it's ever happened. Okay, so right here we have got the brand new Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, one of just 20 cars that's going to be made, 770 brake horsepower. Now, I didn't get that close to the coupe in Geneva, and I wasn't that sure of the looks, but I have to say here, apart from the wheels, which I think are really dodgy, this car looks insane. I think the colour is wicked, the interior is amazing, and I think the Roadster just makes this so mean. I mean, it's a combination of a Huracan and a Ventador, a bit of a Venino. It is mental, I'm not sure you'll ever really see them on the road. You might see one or two on the road, but it's going to kind of be a collector car. I mean, it must be Paul Wallace's wet dream, but my God, it looks so mean. I've been going around the whole week going a bit mad because I've been saying there are so many mirrors around and so many Z8s. I thought maybe I'd taken some weird uh, drugs or someone slipped something in my drink, but no, it's not the case. It tends to be that there is a huge mirror display and a massive Z8 display. In this corner we have a Shelby GT350 which looks so so mean, awesome cars, unfortunately we don't get the Shelby pack in the UK, we just get the standard Mustang, but this looks and sounds incredible. The R version apparently will be a, GT, a Porsche GT3 around a track, how ridiculous is that? So conveniently I had to replace a battery in my microphone so I thought I would take the opportunity to come back to the car park <laughs> as luck as I am to have access inside today because it is incredibly expensive as an event. Um, unfortunately my street routes are pining out for some more spotting, classic spotting. <laughs> so yeah I've come to the car park to have a quick whip around and see what else might have turned, around, turned up before heading back inside and just indulging then in the incredibleness that is the quail. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. That was Parker from Vehicle Virgin, so I really need to go and introduce myself to. Oh my god, check out this hurricane! I've been trying to work out why R8 V10 Pluses have been looking so good during my trip here and I've just clicked it. No front plates. So let's start a campaign. Hashtag no front plates in the UK. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. Call a crib, same number, same hood. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, and yeah, if you don't uh, know, now you know, you know. be a car event without me heading towards the exit to try and film some cars leaving so as incredible as everything is inside I've really filled my belly and my eyes and my heart with amazing cars so I thought I might as well try and come to the end of the road and see if people are going to start leaving in some of the insane cars that we saw in the car park earlier. <laughs> Who's the boss? Dudes is lost. Don't think cause I'm iced out, I'ma cool off. Who else but me? 
me And if you don't feel me, that means you can't touch me It's ugly, trust me Get it right, dog, we ain't never left We just move in silence and rep to the death what an absolutely unbelievable event. The quail totally lived up to its reputation both inside the event and outside in the car park as a, the way to kick off this main weekend of car week. It's a pretty damn good place to start. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come. I think this is the best place for spotting I've ever been. and so mega. Oh, there's a P1. Oh, no, but a yellow P1. You what?